Now we are. And we're back. Oh, I said it too soon? It's all right. Oh, dang it. What are you doing over there with those switches? Don't worry about it, man. Hitting switches? Yeah, just hitting switches. Just hitting switches. Turning knobs. The, um... Just hitting switches in your six wheel. Are we going to go one at a time on this? Because it's going to be crunchy crunch. Crunchy crunch crunch. Jimmy, hand 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 me a Cuban sandwich chip. So what what kind of Jimmy tell everybody Jimmy, what kind of sandwich chips? Are. These are going to be Lay's Summer Edition Limited Summer Flavor Wavy Cuban Sandwich Chips. So that's the first one we're trying right now. Uh, Zach is going in. He's he's all in. Not bad. I mean that's just weird. It's not like dude. I'm getting a lot of pickle. I got pickle. I you like get that. pickle. Yeah, dude. That's not bad. I could I could fox with that Cuban sandwich. It feels it feels summertimey. Yeah, I liked it. You know, I liked it a lot. Not I a just big, feel like I took a trip to Miami. This being said, <laughs> welcome where, to Miami. It's not where Cuba is, by the way. Yeah, but there's it, okay. they're known for Cuba. I'm not a big I'm not a big chip guy. First of all, I wanted that to be known because yeah, I'm not really either. My score will have to you'll have to drop it a little bit. So na- next up, we got the Lay's Limited Summer Edition uh, Salsa Fresca. These are, are more they, of a, a, a traditional-looking type of Lay's chip. Zach's face just immediately got red. That has a fake taste like bubblegum has. It's like what they were going for is so freaking like artificial to me. That's so weird. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that. It, 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 I mean, I get a little bit of freshness in there. Which a I little think bit, is, but it's like they manufactured that yeah. taste, you know what I mean? I yeah. see what you're talking about. It feels like a bubblegum taste. Like, you know I how know it's like exactly over the top fake? About. Yeah, it feels like it's yeah. got... It's a caricature of it. Yeah, it's like... It's like you can tell when something has like a fake strawberry flavor and then like that real... Yeah. like it, Or it's made with real strawberry. Now, if there's a table with chips on it, I'd go back for another one of those chips. Yeah. Like, it's not my favorite. If there's more Cubans, though, I think I'm going to reach for those. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Question is, are I they dippable? I like the Cubans. Are they dippable? Do we have any dips they can go in? I dip either of them in ranch, but I don't care for the salsa. I would do both of them in the sour cream and onion. Yes. Oh yeah. 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 We're like yeah. So I think the, the Cuban's Cuban, better. The the Cuban could be in anything. I think the salsa one could be good in like a queso. Ooh yeah. You yeah, little, I think it's a little thin for like a, it's a not a, not hard, a very not a hearty dip. Yeah, it's not a good dipper. Whoop, what, are you, what are you guys giving them? Whoop, whoop. Um, I'd probably give the the Cuban probably a solid nine. I really like those. Um, the Fresco ones, I'd probably a knock nine? down a little bit. Yeah, that's your favorite chip, like of all. I mean, ten well, is all that's, time. That's why I gave it a nine. Okay, all time though. What's ten all time then? Yeah, I'm what's your favorite think, chip? I'm gonna of have all time. to think on that because I've well, you just, really ate a lot of chips. You just ranked this one real high. Hold on, no. so we're ranking this for chips or for podcast snacks? I always forget. I think chips. Chips. Okay. Um, the. The salsa fresca. I'm probably gonna say it's like maybe a six. Yeah, I'm pretty close to Jim. I think I'd say the Cubans like a seven point five, eight. I thought it was pretty good. And yeah, then it is. The other one, yeah, I'd give like a. It's average to me. Like it's just pretty kind of fakey. I would eat. I would. Eat, I would pick it again. But like, yeah, five or a six. It kind of reminds. I do the same exact the, score. The salsa that, reminds yeah. me of like a barbecue, like a chip, a barbecue chip that just didn't quite land right. I got almost like ketchup vibes from it. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with well, that. so anyway, so there's more. I think we should try all the limited edition summertime summer flavors. Editions. I think there's Today? four of them. No, I only brought two, oh. but there's four of them. So I will say that we'll try the other ones. The salsa ones did do a good job though of like making it taste like fresh salsa like it has like I, that teen that tinge to it yeah i got it in like the aftertaste though cilantro i got yeah i got the see but cilantro are you guys the cilantro like taste normal, normal. to you yeah i think so yeah okay what it is ta- it supposed to taste like soap if it doesn't yeah yeah like it tastes it sometimes i get like a soap or like something like a chemical flavor from cilantro so i don't like it <laughs> thanks jim <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to make sure they didn't go stale, just you know. Trying to just make sure that we could hear them on the, on the air, huh? Yeah, it's it's just we're real windy out there. Lays, Amy's so pissed at you. Lays, she I've, even been, said, I've she been, been irritated with them since I like got back from the trip, so it's okay. <laughs> she had a rough trip, so it's. Oh uh, well, we should talk about that here in a minute. Whatever They're, you can talk about, okay. Yeah. But first, lim- um, 
limited edition summertime Lay's chips. Sponsor us. All right, Lay's. I don't think Let that's going to happen. Lays. We can try. Um, I think you need to put a picture of both the chips. We will. Yeah, we'll cover. put it in Lay's so sponsor people know us. what to what to buy. And then there needs to be a big green check next to the Cuban ones because those were the solid Gotcha. Winner. That's what I'm going to do. But also try both. Maybe we're wrong. You that's I mean? true. I mean, everyone has different tastes. So. No, that's not true. Scientifically, that we've proven that wrong. So we got a we got a we got a question uh, through the Instagram, and I want to cover that first, the and then IG. we can move on. What's that? The old IG. Yeah, the old IG. Um, people want to know where you're at, where you're flying. Oh gosh. Are you a pilot yet? I mean, I've been a pilot. No, like he's close. I'm at. I have 14. Somebody exactly asked, like, 14. where's Jimmy at with his license? Does he have? I'm at 14 hours before I. I'm at the minimum to get my commercial. So. Um, talking with my instructor, he said that you know he doesn't expect me to be around long. He expects me to get it done. That sounded and on to like CFI. not not well. <laughs> Fourteen hours—that's half from the last time I thought we wasn't it like forty or thirty hours. Thirty. I told him when I left for Denver, I was like, "Please, please, <laughs> just go spend the money and fly as much as you can, like while I'm gone." And then I came back, and he only flew like ten hours, and I was like, "What are you doing?" Well, part of it was the weather. It wasn't favorable this week. Yeah, there's in, been a lot of tornadoes, know, a lot of cicadas. Huh. Oh man! Inflation. I don't know how they get up there, but they're there at like five thousand feet. Really? Yeah. There's a lot of bugs that you hit at five thousand feet. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so fourteen hours left. Look, they're keeping track because yeah. people messaged me. So I've been keeping track since like August. We have a paper chain in our like hallway bathroom that ha- is hanging. Somebody down. messaged and asked about asked if uh, you've flown with Tang Tang again. <laughs> Oh, she just no, bailed no. on him. Yeah, she just bailed on me. So she reached out. Like, I, I kind of, like, wrote her off as, like, not not wanting to fly anymore because the last time we were, were going to fly, it was, like, bad weather. And I'm like, I'm not willing to drive to, to St. Louis again. So if you want, you can come here and we can we can fly in one of the planes out of Jeff or Columbia. And she's like, nah, I don't feel like driving that far. So I was like, all right, whatever. Oh, it's, wow. it's very much a one-way relationship yeah. with her and yeah. Jimmy. So this time she reached out and she's like, oh, I can fly next Friday at, you know, all day. And I'm like, cool. So then that, that's kind of where the conversation did. And then I followed up with her because I was about to book the plane. And then she was like, actually, I can't do anything until July now. Sorry. It's like, all right, whatever. See ya. So I, I have other people that I can fly with now. It's just a matter of he's made other friends. <laughs> yeah, I've, ma- I've made other pilot friends. So yeah, you know what? Like sometimes it doesn't. You know, you go out on a few dates, it doesn't work out. Yeah, you know, yeah. it just it was fun while it lasted. But I, it's, it's over. <coughs> if I go next. out with you some night to like one of your pilot bars where mm-hmm. all your pilot buddies are, what can I not like? What's going to be like stolen pilot valor? Like what can I not do? Can I wear one of those leather jackets with like the the wool collars on them? Yeah, do it. I mean, what are they going to do? Well, like, if I do something, what's going to get me in a fight with your pilot friends? Um, you could probably argue just, I don't know. Flat Earth? Yeah. Flat Earth. Flat You're Earth's like, going to get me in trouble? Weather is not a, not a thing. Mm. Um, you like, don't ever talk crap on Wilbur and... Uh, birds aren't real? Or Orville? Or, the, yeah, oh. the Wright Brothers? Yeah, the Wright Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> There's some, like, name... You know, there's some like name you can't talk bad about. Or like, Eddie, if you were Eddie like, Rick- God, you're like Top Gun sucked, Eddie then they're Rick- all gonna Bacher. be like. I just I, so I, I think that, that there's there's pilots out there that mm-hmm. are will get offended at anything. Like they just like to argue, but then it's just like anything else. You have people that want to move aviation forward, and they'll be like, "Well, Zach, that's not really the case here. Let's <laughs> let's talk about it a little bit." <laughs> and then you can they go back and forth. In shape about it. Like if Zach went in there, if Zach went in there, and he was like, he's like, I think that. I think the Cessna three six four is a crap yeah. piece of crap. Or Zach, people flip out. Or Zach comes in there and he says that he flies a Cessna one hundred and fifty. Like he's not fitting in it. Oh, so they would know he was faking it. Yeah. <laughs> you could argue that and just be like, I have this the D model. It just gets me up and gets me going. You're like, I, you're like, I fly a Cessna one hundred and fifty. I get that the, bad boy up to six. Did you just say the D model gets me up and gets me going? <laughs> <laughs> it's a commuter. Just checking. Has a higher payload. That's normal pilot talk. It's a higher payload. He that's says. No- <laughs> that's a that's normal pilot talk, dude. I'm just saying, like we're trying to make this a family show. I know, I know. Well, would you like to fly the M model instead? Hey, oh, dude. you can go with <laughs> eight pounds hey. of fuel. Hey, man. All right. So um, Jimmy was alone this week. I was. And Amy left him temporarily. Yeah. And I was lost. She went to... Hold on. Don't say anything, Amy. Where'd she go? Colorado. 
I thought it was Texas. Yeah, so. no. Zach, Zach checked in on me. Oh, gosh. Yeah. We drove to Denver, which... How was the drive? Oh, God. Um, so we left at like 6 o'clock in the morning, and um, it's like a little over a 10-hour drive, but when you have to stop four or five times between eating and peeing like our very first stop was actually we made it into like kansas city and like we stopped at the casino because somebody yeah at like 7 30 8 o'clock in the morning maybe i can't remember the exact time but it was because somebody had to pee that bad and i was like and there was actually tons of people like a good amount of people in there considering how early in the morning it was and we were They'd talking there why night. yeah why did they that- pick the casino because that was the only thing we could see because this person huh. was like i've got to go now like was right it now all women no um two two males went and it was the uh, one of the males who he had pounded lots of coffee oh come oh on. he was having to dump it out it wasn't dude. pee yeah he had well to i'm not I'm, I'm not asking know, questions but i'm saying a dude's gonna hold it but if it's the other end like you, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> when lightning strikes, it strikes, you know? Were you guys all in, like, a big commuter van or something? Uh, we... Two different cars. So, one person mm. had a minivan. The other one had a Subaru-ish kind of car. And, um, yeah. So... A lot uh, of lesbians drive those, I hear. He's definitely not a lesbian. I heard a whole podcast on it. It's like a Oh, I don't thing. doubt it. I mean, I believe it that. It has to do... I can't remember her name, but it was a... Uh, it was, like, the first openly gay uh, tennis player. Well, athlete. It's not the same. I appreciate what you're doing for me. It's just I'm not the same. I'm trying to talk you up. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> You're just like a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I am. How cool would that be, though? It's like Planet of the Apes. Gorilla on a horse. Yeah. Seen it. Seen it. Yeah, we saw that recently. Yeah, dude. Made back. the horse look pretty small. Yeah, it was, it was pretty Thought crazy. he was riding a miniature yeah. pony. So what were you going to train for? Uh, we went to a conference. Um, so it was... It's about sp- the log it was, clean? Huh? It's about the log clean? No. It's a log clean conference? It was... Um, was it full body exam? <laughs> Full no. body exam no, class. No. Okay. It was, full body uh, assessment. Based around like assessment. critical care sorry, and sorry. education. Did you get a so. lot out of it, or is it just kind of one of those things you just got to do? Um, I didn't actually have to do it. Our boss really encouraged us to go. So um, we we are doing a lot of the things that all these different presenters are already doing. Um, this is no one will find this interesting, but like the one of the people that works out in California that is like the head of one of the hospitals out there. They were talking about how. California is one of the few states um, in the U.S. that's actually a uh, mandated ratio, which in healthcare, that's a really big deal. So, like, here, we don't, everywhere, we don't have enough nurses. We don't have enough of anybody in healthcare to take care of people. So, what happens is, is um, as time has gone on, your nurse might have had like 10 or 15 years ago four patients then it goes up to five patients now it's up to six or seven patients which the more you just add on one person the yeah. less of a good job they can do the, right. the scarier it is the harder it is it's just there's a lot of burnout a lot of people leave the job but in california That's they have wild. they have mandated ratios and she was talking about their process does that mean that they don't have they, that many it means that in the state they are required to like each nurse if you're a floor nurse you can only take four patients and in their icus you can only take two which we're really good here about critical care nurses icus only taking two patients per nurse but out on the floors that's not it is not the same thing and so this is like across the country that this is a problem but she was saying how it essentially this started in like the late 90s they got the the bill to pass and then it took like five years i think for like they had these selected people to come and evaluate here's what you do in your job and here's what you do in your job and kind of see like what is each nurse doing to they these people who were not nurses were making the decision so the, essentially they came back and they're like yeah we think that you guys can have this and this and this ratio and they were like no slow down like we huh. and it took them five years to come up with like the data oh right because they like, had to be like look yeah, they like had care to, drops they ha- after they ha- this point yeah, yeah like they had to prove everything I, um, missouri I doesn't have anything that like mandates nope, nope. But nope. So, so so you can go to a hospital and there there have been times where like night shift nurses have had eight patients apiece, which I have the most I've ever taken is seven, and that's way too many. It's a lot. So is it? So I think that like childcare it mandates like you can only have like so many teachers per. Like, we actually talk, We actually talked about that. And that's. But here's here's the deal. Here's what here's what the thing is. Is what are you going to do? Are you going to close hospital doors? Right. Right. Because that's really th- that's the, the only issue. way to fix it is have we have all these open beds and to say we're closing beds and we're not letting people in. Mm-hmm. And that's that's a really big deal. It also doesn't really work with the ICU, right? Like, mm, like people it, it, doesn't, the I- it doesn't work anywhere, yeah. really. Because 
the other thing that's happened slowly over time is we've watched all these smaller hospitals. Um, COVID really hurt a lot of things, but a lot of smaller hospitals, um, especially in our area, went down. And mm-hmm. like you needed those small hospitals to kind of lift off some of the load. And now the bigger hospitals, not only are they taking all of the patients they were taking before, but they're taking all of the smaller things too. So it's wild. Healthcare is really, really a screwed up place to. Yeah. I think it's always going to be. Yeah. I, I, I've been thinking about that. I just think it's a, it's an imperfect world. And like, I also understand how somebody who's not in healthcare says you can take on eight people per shift or whatever, yeah. because on some end, I have a client who's a doctor and she hates talking to the, she says the MBAs, right? Cause they're, they see it as like missed, missed income. We call them the C-suite. Mm-hmm. It's and <laughs> they, they see it as missed income and she hates that because she's saying like, no, these are people that need help right yeah. and i get it from both ways because it's like she's definitely right but this person's job is to make the hospital profitable also right. yeah it's a business right. it is like there is a there's a constant churn that you're looking at um patients mm-hmm. in patients out like how can we move right. start moving people um it's really it's interesting yeah there i would to be a balance I, I would say though like Nice I love what I do, and I would recommend that if anybody doesn't mind, like, poop, blood, guts, all that stuff, nursing is something where the pay is there. Like, yeah. if you're looking for something to, like, career-wise, and you like helping people, like, in two to three years, you could be making very good money. All right. This and they'll let you question. pick up as much overtime as you want. <laughs> question for you in through the lens of nursing, but just in general. You have a profession with high level burnout Mm -hmm. how do you how do you fight that in any profession what are your what's your advice oh i don't just for burnout you mean like just burnout burnout? just so like i think i think it also depends on the type of person though because like for me like i um i was talking to one of my coworkers, jeff and one of the things he was uh complaining about something and i remember i was not i was like yeah i I totally understand and we were talking about like what we were just all the things and i said something about working out and he was like that's it you're like very very well adjusted like you go to the gym and you do what you're supposed to Mm -hmm. like you're you're taking like not your aggression Mm -hmm. but you're you're taking your work day at the end and you're like working it out you know um I don't know because each person's going to have something completely different. So if you're burnt out, like the one good thing about nursing, I think is, is like you could go be a school nurse. You can go work in research. You mm. can go work in a completely different area That's a good point. and like just change things up. I actually know somebody and she was like, I don't stay in the same role more than two to three years. And oh, nice. that's because that's what she like feels like she needs to do to keep things interesting for her. But there's actually, I know a ton of people who have left nursing. Yeah. Um, seems like it seems like a tough tough gig. Yeah, I mean, well, we're also looking other, at it just like post COVID. Like. The other thing that's really bad is like, so you look at um, other public health people who are. I don't want to say public health, public. I don't want to say service. Yes, and I don't want to say servants, but people who serve. And if you assault a police officer you're in trouble if you assault like an emt a paramedic you're in trouble you come into the hospital you can swing on me and i can't like in order for me to do anything it's tons and tons of work and a lot of the times they'll be like that person their are their lawyer will argue oh they had a head injury or oh they weren't in the right state of mind or oh you gave them this medication very rarely does anything happen to these people and i'm telling you People who work inpatient in hospital settings get assaulted on a very regular basis. It is actually super, <laughs> me, uh, super crazy. Let me take a second just to say to anybody listening who might be plotting something. You find yourself in the hospital. <laughs> you take a swing on Amy Klickner. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, hey. You, you, you better pack a lunch. All right? Yeah. And you better kill her. <laughs> you better kill her quick. So because, she can't identify you. Well, because she's coming with aggression. So this the sad thing is, is this probably started five or six years ago, but now nationwide, this is a real thing. We all have started taking um, behavioral or emergency response training. Yeah. So um, not every single employee takes it, but at certain levels you take it. So like in leadership where I'm at, like I'm on this team. So mm. once a year I go and learn how if somebody is choking me out, how I'm getting out of it. If somebody grabs my hair... Like how to do one person, two person, three person maneuvers to take people down. Mm -hmm. And it's at, it's at every level, but also like de-escalation tactics to talk to people and like 
and it's it's, a it's wild, like a six to eight hour day yeah. and yeah. people that get injured too it's it's horrible but like we have mats and we're like literally rolling around on the ground like working on each other yeah but i'm like i shouldn't have to i shouldn't ever have to do that and it's i actually know profession. somebody who's been choked out to where they blacked out from yeah. a from a patient it's a wild profession you're in though because you can see anything from you know drug addiction to like you said full-blown like brain trauma to just drunk or whatever it is yeah crazy man jim yeah. what do you do for burnout <laughs> i mean it's i it, it's hard for me to answer that because like i've tried to overcome it in my my current role and it's 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 really hard i mean you can get up and go take a walk around the block and i like i work at a pretty flexible employer so they allow certain things but it's still like sometimes it's not enough and it's I'm just looking at other roles. Yeah, it's it's also hard, too, when you have, and both of you do, but you have jobs that follow you home. Yeah. You know, like, not not in a regular nursing role, but I know you, Amy, are answering emails and stuff like that all the time. Yeah. With, like, your the people that are working under you, they probably get to clock out and leave. Yeah. That probably helps. I don't know. Nate, I'd what do you think? Yeah, it's tough, man. I don't know. Like, it... I don't know. Like, I think... I think Amy's right. Like, there's a lot of things where I think people usually, like, uh, they've they've made it, like, the center of their world. Yeah. You know? And so then it's, like, probably not doing a lot or you've not leaving time for it or, or there is it. Maybe it's tough. You got to, like, really work hard to make time for it. But then it's, like, you know, like, doing things that you enjoy. Of course, like, there's a lot of factors. Like, the more stressed out you are, the worse your diet becomes usually. Yeah. And then... That, Stress is the thing that... Yeah. And so then, like, people's usually your diet's worse. And then, like, people aren't working out or they stop working out. What is that in us? Because I think, like, I'm really susceptible to that. If I have a bad day, I yeah. want to spend, I want to be in bed till noon the next day. Yeah. And movement is medicine. Yeah. But it also, just, it's like, better to get up and yeah. do it. He talks about food. And me and Jimmy have had this conversation. And I think you're either an emotional eater or an emotional non eater. Yeah. I'm an emotional non eater. If me something too. bad happens, I'm like, I'm not hungry. I don't want to eat. I, yeah. I don't want to have anything to do with it. But I know tons of my friends who, as soon as their world starts getting flipped upside down, yeah. they're like, give me the donuts now. Right. This is going to make me feel right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, the, and I it's think like it the does. I think it, it does yeah. make them, like, it for helps sure. them oh, feel yeah, better. For sure. yeah. When Amy was gone. I ate a lot of ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I came home and he he had fudge and like chocolate uh, or like ice cream and I was like I heard him heating something up and I was like what are you doing what what's in the microwave he's like the fudge for the ice cream <laughs> and he's got like strawberry syrup in the kitchen and been there Jimmy been there oh man it was I I was I was lost I was like I walked around the house it was just me and Winnie and we just kind of you and Winnie just yeah, yeah our cat. I, yeah, I, just, I ate. Um, just following the cat around. I ate like two. Lacey left for a week one time, and I ate like two. I ate like two full containers of Oreos, and I yeah. watched the Notebook. <laughs> that I, was the first time I'd ever seen it. It was a terrible idea. I thought about that. Like yeah. I could get a package of Oreos, or I can get some ice cream, and I chose the ice cream. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, C- yeah calorically, the yeah. Oreos make you feel safe. Speaking of which, this is totally off subject. Do you know how many calories are in a crumble cookie? Have we talked about this? It's insane. probably a lot. Insane. Any guesses? It's like um, two thousand. I Wrong. was mm, eighteen hundred. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say sixteen hundred. They're all different, but I think they're like a, a, a G and up. I think they're a thousand and up because I was looking at. They're gonna start if they haven't already doing four small cookies. You can order four, mm-hmm. but they're, they're two hundred fifty so calories rich. a piece. Yeah, so they're like they have. That's a, why I said it depends too, because some of those are like they make a slicer. They make something that you can use them to oh, slice them into four sections. No, say, no, it's like their own brand. Is it extra? I don't know. It but It looks like from the marketing that they're going to make a smaller cookie. Right, right. But I'm saying now you can buy like a, you can get like a crumble slicer and it cuts it into the serving size of four sections. But I think they're 250 calories a piece. The little ones? I think so. Well, uh, it, again, I, it depends on the cookie. So for some of them, for some of them, it was 450. Re- but well, that again, was four yeah. servings. Yeah, right, and so like you can cut it into the four. That's why I said I think it starts at a thousand yeah. calories. Yeah, it's insane. That's why I was saying. Like, I don't it's think I've ever eaten a whole one by myself. Wow! Every time they people order them at work, I'm like, I'll like yeah. split this with you, or. And that's so weird because that's not something generally you do with cookies. Like that's a cake. That's mm-hmm. that's cake behavior. Yeah, and I'm so and and we're also used to it. Like you look at the nutrition label or whatever, and then it says, you know, four hundred like per cookie. 
Also, because that, that was a thing. Like that went around TikTok for a while, where people were saying, <laughs> like, "Oh, dude, like crumble cookies don't even have, like they're huge and they only have 450 calories." And somebody came out and was like, "That's per serving, and there's four servings." Yeah, I'm also a big fan of like gourmet cupcakes. Yeah. Find me a good oh, gourmet yeah. cupcake, and I'm. Oh, we should do that next next <sighs> taste. Are test. we are we cupcake over cookie? I'm a cupcake over cookie. Oh man, that's so tough. hard. That's tough. Because if you're talking top end, now here's the thing: I have two different scales. You give me the average of this, or the average of this, or the top end or the top end, and my answers could be different. Like I think your average cookie is probably better than your average cupcake, but a gourmet cupcake—that's a whole different ball game there. Because when I think of like average cupcake, the cake part sucks, no. and it's just like no, 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 an average. I'm saying like on a gourmet cupcake, I love the, the cake part, part, but they're not moist. That's what I'm saying. On a gourmet one, it is. It's like this is yeah, well made. This I is like, like when st- stuff's in there too. Like yes. they can twine some sort of like ganache like, or something's or like in there. Fudge. Yeah. Ooh, like like uh, I don't. I also if don't, everybody wasn't hungry before we started this. I don't podcast, like they when they have eat. a ton of icing on top though. I if oh, there's I like that. if it's like another like three inches of icing, See, I usually I try to scrape I, some of it. Yeah, off. Yeah, I scrape some of it off. Yeah, same so I, I'm there for the moist. I take the bottom part, part of the cupcake and put it on top. Yeah. So then it's like a sandwich. It's so it's good. Amazing. Yeah. Where are we at time wise? Oh, uh, we're at 26 minutes. We pause. Yeah. All right, we're back. <laughs> Sorry. You a Wookie? Sometimes you I big, have to make kind of hairy. Sometimes I have to make noises, or I feel like I'll explode a little bit. Big Wookie. So talking about sweets and stuff, we were at um, our Sweet, friend. Sweets and stuff is an weird we, mixtape. Yeah, <laughs> we had a, a friend who had a kid about a year ago, and today was her her one year birthday. And what we a coincidence! There. I know. Yeah, it's a crazy how later? that works. Yeah, Golly. twelve months. <laughs> um, and and the the grandma or the the mom of our friend, she does phenomenal cakes. She did a uh, Winnie the Pooh cake, and I I don't know how she got into it, but she always does this excellent cake. Like store, like you would think that she went to a bakery and bought it, but she made it at home in like her wow. oven. It was really cool. It was pineapple flavored. Oh yeah. By the way, that reminds me, buy our eight week glute workout called Phenomenal Cakes. Uh, it's on our website. Um, That's a great name. That's a great name. <laughs> yeah, Phenomenal I cakes. We went. It, it is it is weird like when somebody who hasn't because so, we went over to Lacey's brother's house and she made a cake for like they just had like an extra birthday party mm-hmm. like surprise birthday party for Nora when we went down there one time and she made a like a bubble guppies cake and it looked unbelievable mm-hmm. and like she she worked on it for a long time but I was like I, I, but she does like d- does do you know does does that lady is she like an artist does she like draw and have no, like paint or anything okay well and so she did the the well, one cake which was Winnie the Pooh for everybody to eat and then yeah. she had the the honey jar as like the the cake that uh, oh, they oh that's smash. awesome the, the smash cake mm-hmm, the smash cake I love Pooh that. Bear takes care of his tummy dude yeah you know who does really good cupcakes or used to is Brie oh. You should check out her Instagram. She is a freaking. I told her a long time. She was going to school for to be a teacher. I was like, no, you do this. Yeah, that I, I forgot about that. Now that you say that, she's, she's talked about it before. She's a beast. We could we could do a taste test. Yeah, look, I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her and be like, hey, we're gonna need some uh, some brie cupcakes. Well, don't brie say cakes. It like that. Some brie, brie cakes. cakes. We're gonna need those brie cakes. Cakes by brie. Cakes by brie. And do do uh, do like a taste test. Have her do some different flavors. Mm-hmm. Do up. Yeah, but I don't know because like in in this for her, she's like she's like pretty good at drawing and she's an artist and like she mm-hmm. does like she's done like some like painting I think and sculpting maybe. So I was like, that's got to be what it is because I she. View, I view our job as sculpting. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think so. I'm just trying to chisel out a marble. Of yeah. Something better. Yeah. You know? Of of. Out of out of stone. Yeah, fat fat stone. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, just I'm soft kidding. stone. Yeah, yeah. I don't know though, because pineapple. Wait, pi- it was a pineapple cake. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, was, it was. Were there chunks of pineapple in it? No, uh, I, didn't I don't notice know that. if there was. It was delicious though. Puree. No, I think she probably. It's French. I think she probably used like pineapple juice, because she also had like an adult beverage that had pineapple juice in it. So I imagine it, that was just like the. Where, w- where was that? It was on the counter. I missed that. <laughs> I feel like a Jimmy pineapple... Jimmy kept bringing me beers every time, and it was different beers, so... I feel yeah. like a pineapple, 
liqueur at a kid's birthday party is dangerous. Yeah. There was one year old. There was there were other kids there. There was two other kids. Yeah, oh, there okay. was two, two oh, other kids. Yeah. Two other kids, a high schooler. And I did the that once. My mom had and the twenty-two month old. <coughs> My mom had okay. um, some like girls' night get together thing, and they had daiquiris. And I was like, sorry, my finger itches. <laughs> they had daiquiris, and she didn't realize I was, like, dipping my cup. Because it was just, like, frozen. It was mm-hmm. like a slushie yeah. in a bowl. I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> well, those one little things that we, the frozen things we had that one time, mm-hmm. they were pretty tasty. Yeah, you were 35. <laughs> yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was, uh, I was 480 months. <laughs> That's uh, hilarious. I bet my daughter could drink one of those. They didn't taste a lot like alcohol. I mean, she'd be like, this tastes funny, but... Yeah. I would imagine... She'd probably what? be a little drunk, though. Oh, she'd be... She'd handle it, I yeah. feel like. Yeah, okay. Yeah? No, she's, she's like, gosh, I'm genetics. really craving a cig right she, now. She'd be like, <laughs> when she's drinking it, when she's drinking she'd it. grab me by the collar, and she said, I thought I told you we're going to the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's got, a, like, a lower gravelly voice. She's like, you're... I need pizza. You're really pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Have you guys seen the uh, TikTok with the little girl? I believe she's British, and it's about the ice cream. The ice cream. Yeah. Hilarious. It's yeah. nine bits. Nine quid. Nine quid. That's what it is. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's so good. So there's this, uh, This it, it, I guess this might bring down the podcast a little bit, but there's a um, there's a bunch of controversy going on around in my neck of the woods. Have you guys heard about it? In the Amish no, country? What happened? <laughs> Are they getting rid of beards? No, it's not. It is close it? to Amish country, but it's not. Mennonites. Uh, no, it's a, it's small town, small town drama. Okay, that's my favorite. Drama. Oh, up in uh, Sturgeon. Yeah, did yeah, you yeah, see yeah, it? Yeah, I yeah, did, I did. Yeah, so um, I didn't share this with you. I'm sorry. There's a. You're in trouble. So it's going. It's all. Over. I think it might be on national news now. What happened? So, long story short, a cop the cop there like there's two cops maybe one and they're not even they're not even sturgeon cops they're just like boone county cops Aww. um shot like put down somebody's dog in wow in the front yard uh-huh so this uh, there was a there was a stray dog and a lady found the dog and they didn't have a collar or anything and she was like i don't know whose dog this is she said that she brought the dog in the dog acted fine mm-hmm. she was like super thirsty and hungry so she fed and, and watered the dog and then um, she let him outside. Like he wanted to go outside, mm-hmm. so she like, I don't know if she had him on something. I don't think he was on a leash, but he was just laying on the front porch, and so like she just let him be. So then she got on Facebook and she was like posting the swap shops and other places, be like, hey, is this somebody's dog? And so nobody, nobody. After a while, nobody contacted her, so she just called the police and was like, hey, can you guys like take the dog or put it like for the animal shelter or whatever? She's like, because I don't want to take care of the dog. She's like, so just you know, you guys try to find the owner and so that the, the cop comes and uh, like they're just inside hanging out and then all of a sudden they hear gunshots go off in their front yard this is already making me feel ill to my stomach so they just hear gunshots go off in their front yard and then um he says he says that he couldn't catch the dog and the dog was acting super aggressive and he thought the dog was going to bite him because it was like he, he couldn't he was couldn't catch the dog and every time he was getting close the dog was trying to attack him so then he just shot the dog the dog is a the dog is a 10 pound shizu sh- yeah sh- shih tzu oh. and and the dog was blind and that's like what and so and I was like so now, so now the town is like in an uproar. Like, we need to fire this cop because, like, yeah, there's like cop. There's like also the other you discharged a weapon in a neighborhood. Yeah, over a ten pound dog. Over a ten pound dog, and then there's uh, kids playing in the yard in the next house over. And the guy, the guy that owned the house that was they were taking care of the dog. They he wrote a letter and was like, I've been. He was like, I was in law. Like, I'm retired now. He's like, but I was in law enforcement for like 35 years or something. And he was like, he's like, and I like, you know, he's like, I'm not in this like defund the police thing. He's like, I back the police. He's like, but this guy just shot a 10 pound dog in like in somebody's front yard for virtually no reason. Like, what a moron. So I read, so <laughs> just an idiot. So you know more about it than I do. Cause I read an article that said that they thought the dog had rabies. Yeah. 
and and that's that's where, what that's what that's what the cop was saying was he thought it had rabies yeah and but, I heard that it was indicating signs like it was rabies like it was moving weird and like yeah going in circles and stuff like that yeah. but if it's blind it makes more yeah, sense yeah 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 that's so, the case but yeah and so now they're like th- you don't shoot it in a neighborhood yeah, yeah but it's no, no, like I, I agree it yeah it's like you gotta also making. like also like if it's like a even if it's a 150 pound dog and it's scary as crap like get back up you know what i mean like figure out or like get do something they did i don't even know i don't even know if sturgeon has animal control but it's like you don't have to shoot the thing that Boone was County the quote would. of his yeah you know i mean yeah. it's like yeah, yeah somebody yeah. can do something somebody can do something different you know but the fact that it was a 10 pound dog it's so small so like do you put actually, on a couple of did it actually belong to anyone in yes the long it was run? somebody's dog because that's, like, that's, that's what, where i'm like in my head i'm like this was somebody's dog yeah it was also somebody's dog and they just didn't i, th- I don't know who it do was you know or why but how some many old lady. videos i've seen of women that look just like amy walking through like inner city streets rescuing pit bulls yeah and you're scared of this 10 pound shit scene? yeah no dude it was just and big like, man he's probably got boots on too and it's yeah, like well, you can't like even even if you had to just like literally like step on the dog yeah and pin the dog down with your foot yeah hurt it for a second so you hurt, can help it yeah it's like there's so many different ways to do it by like, the way i did rescue a pit bull and it was like after i realized what i had done and the co- the dog was sitting like in my passenger seat <laughs> yeah. like we're i'm driving on saint charles uh lake of the woods and i'm coming up towards Keene, and there's just a pit bull like running playing in the road and i was like oh my gosh somebody's gonna hit it and i was like come here I stopped my car in the middle of the road. I was like, come here. And it just jumped right into my passenger seat in my coupe. Yep. And I was it like, turns into that scene from so, Talladega Nights. With so the then I, the I called my ex-mother-in-law and I was like, uh, what do I do with this dog? And she was like, actually bring it over here and I'll call animal control and have them meet me here. So this dog is sitting in my front seat going <laughs> like, but sitting up like a human would. And then I started to think, oh my God, what about if this dog Bites leaps at face. me as I'm driving <laughs> yeah. down 63? I don't know this dog. Like it you turn on up, the wrong song or make a weird noise. And it, it all sets ended up being fine, but I was like, yeah. probably a poor move on my part but i didn't want it to get hit I mean, and i knew it belonged to somebody happened, you know yeah i mean well, it's just crazy that's crazy yeah and i'm like when we talk about like 10 pound dogs like we we went to get some uh puppies down at my my dad's house to bring up here to give to a couple people and that it was probably like a 10 pound like great pyrenees at the time it's just a small dog and i was still able to like pick it up and like hold it to where it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt me you yeah. all had held my puppy Oh, yeah. He was 12 pounds at his vet visit. Yeah, I'm saying, like, just... I mean, you could grab that dog... The scruff by, of the you neck. You could grab that dog by the scruff of the neck and throw... My and daughter throw, could. Yeah, and throw it in the back seat. Yeah. And then, like, just be like, this thing's going nuts back there. Like... He's going to the pound. Throw on a glove or a couple gloves yeah. or, like, wrap your arm or something. Even... And the, this is the other thing, was that they were, like... he His whole thing was that it had rabies, right? Mm-hmm. Well, is he a vet? There's how does not he a, know? How does he know? But also, is that going to kill you? No. Does, isn't there, is there not a shot to have it fixed? You know? It's like, even if he did get bit, he'd be like, man, I don't know. And then he could get tested. Huh? He could get tested, and then, like, you could check, you know? And it'd be like, oh, he, do, he the dog actually didn't have rabies, or it did, you know? Yeah. And then it's like, either way, it's like, you can get a shot for that. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's that's a crazy. It's so, but I'm like, you got to get rid of that guy. Like, so this is because if we go any further, I'm going to get way too political. But this is my issue. Now, this is the opposite end of the spectrum. That's like laughable. I don't have a lot of time for like the argument of like they're just trying to get home safe, just trying to get home safe to their family. Like I appreciate that. Don't go into that line of work. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, if your worst day you're like breaking point is a 10 pound dog yeah you found the wrong profession sir. yeah for sure absolutely it's like how it, do you deal with a drunken idiot yeah he might have rabies <laughs> had to put him down yeah yeah it's just it's bad so like there's a bunch of people being like you know we gotta like fire him and then there's people being like you know like don't fire him and i'm like just but there, there's a bunch of stuff going around there's a bunch of stuff going around surgeon right now where they're doing like these these meetings and they're like, we need the town to, sh- to show up to, like, say what they want to do. Because I think they are trying to say, like, what is what does the majority of people want to do, you know? like That's cool. Which I thought was cool. Yeah, yeah. and it seems like he's probably going to get fired, I think, because yeah. he's, like, suspended right now. But it's like... What if we pull a, a play from the other guys and just give him, like, a wooden gun, and that's that's what he gets <laughs> now. That's pop. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. He did. He looked. Dude, he had his first desk pop. Technically, you know. And it, it was. And it, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was bad. I was bad. I was like, as as I was, as Lacey was telling me about the story, because I I really I had no idea. I saw posts about it on Facebook, but I didn't read them. And then, then uh, yeah, then Lacey was telling me about it. And then when I found out the dog was ten pounds, because I had no idea when the dog was ten pounds, and then it was blind. I was like, oh my gosh! Like, if I'm being honest got- with you, like, I'm an animal guy. There shouldn't be senseless death or whatever. If this was out in your back 40 acres mm-hmm. where you can fire a gun mm-hmm. safely, mm-hmm. I'd feel differently about this. It would sure. still be dumb. Yeah. It would still be a bad right. call. I mean, yeah, needless. Needless. Yeah. But imagine, like, this is way too morbid. Imagine losing your daughter yeah. to no, a I know. stray no, bullet I know. Well, I, for a dog. Well, so hold this on. Was, this it's was not the... even just that. I'm thinking about these kids that are playing next door, and yeah. this is That's... cemented in their head well, yeah, that forever. Too. Yeah, but that, you know what? The other thing that really, like, this this was the other the final straw that made me be like, okay, he he's just, like, a w- wild card, is because he didn't pull into the street. He, he just, like, drove into their yard, mm. and then... That that's like whatever, but he didn't talk to them at all. The people said he never came up to the house and was like, "Hey, what's going on? Like, what's the issue? Like, can you give me some? Like, none of that." Oh, like, hey, can you help me get this dog? But how did you know it was the right dog? He True. didn't even talk to him. True. He didn't even go up to their house and talk to him. So then he could have been in the yard doing whatever, and the little kids in the backyard playing, and runs out there be like, "What you doing?" And then like he's just shooting dogs, and it's like you, you can't have that. You can't can, have that. Canine Slayer. Yeah, you can't have that. Just bad. Yeah, but well, that's thanks for thanks for bringing this down, Nate. Yeah, I that appreciate was real, that. Well, it's you know, I mean, we talk real. about you know, we talk about current events. You know, sometimes we talk about. This is why I'm still an advocate for bullying. That kid wasn't bullied enough. <laughs> He's soft. Yeah, just yeah, really. I mean, attempt- he might have been the bully. Yeah, maybe this is a maybe this is a case of like he I'm felt, above the law. Yeah, yeah. He's or trigger maybe happy. He's, maybe he's just into putting animals down. That's true. Psychopath. Well, he could have just heard like, "Hey, I, uh, over the radio, like we need help with a dog that somebody needs to get rid of," and he's going into it. And he's like, "Well, I'm putting the dog down. Like, <laughs> I got to get yeah, it out I, of their I, yard." It's just bad. He's really trying to help the stray pet population. Yeah, Stops the packs of wild dogs. Vest. Yeah, he, he straps up like he's like. <laughs> <laughs> in all of his SWAT gear for it's a 10-pound like, dog. It's like eye black on. Yeah, he's like, oh, this is going to get... Yeah, I'm he's pretty just, sure, though, as a police officer, you can get fired from one to police department and then just get rehired in another one yeah. because I know people who have oh, yeah. done things like that. Me too. I think if you get in legal trouble, that might be different. Yeah, because I think the person's pressing charges against him too. So. Yeah. The person who owned the dog? Both. Or? I think both. Because I was going to say, like, if if you know how much I care about animals, yeah. if I bring that animal into my house to feed it and water it, and then mm. I call and ask somebody to help, I'm probably going to have, like, assault charges. Like, yeah, they, I think... Uh, get, like, for me going after the police officer after I witnessed I think the people that live that. there, that, that I think both parties are, are doing stuff, so he's probably gonna get i wonder what happens i mean you definitely get in trouble for hitting a police officer but if they discharge a weapon on your property you know what i mean like like if it's one of you all i can shoot you and i'm pretty sure i sleep in my bed that night yeah mm-hmm. you know was that the castle doctor yeah, or whatever yeah. it is yeah the castle yeah i wonder if you come after a police officer who just uh, I'm, I'm i'm out i'm out <laughs> Yeah, it's, washing my hands of it. Yeah, it's yeah. I I uh, it's it was ridiculous. Just kind of a ridiculous situation. Hard not to put it on my face. A tattoo on your face? Yeah. I'm recording. I really want to get tattoos as well right now. I've yeah. been looking at them and I'm like, gosh, it would be sick. Let's get one. Let's get. Let's all four of us get one. We won't tell Linda. Amy's not gonna. We'll Amy's not gonna do it. Last She'll time she was like, she's cool, dude. I'll vouch for her. I know she's cool, but she's last time the whole tattoo thing. She was very. Before I would have done it, and I had stuff in mind. Now I'm so far from it because it's been like three years that I don't have anything that I would want, and I'm also saving money, and I would be not okay with paying money for that right now. What if we start a GoFundMe and people are just like, I want to go tap me. Well, yeah. they can do that for you. 
Uh, oh. I'm so indecisive of what I would want. Do you, you see, see how that saying? just flipped? Yeah, like, you see what I'm saying? Uh, They're bo- <laughs> no, like, I, I just meant, like, if, if people wanted to, to fund our tattoos, then we could... I, I, don't, I don't think that that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> All right, here's what we'll do. I mean, I would get something really let's, small. Let's, I'm just not willing to get, like, for you listeners, a half sleeve or anything. For you listeners, we'll set something up where you can donate. No. For Jimmy. No. But you get to decide, because he's... Oh, yeah, I, that's no. okay. Oh. Oh, that'd yeah. be cool. New. We have to let him Zach, decide. Zach, you would do that. You'd let them For decide, sure. right? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'll do that because I'm cool. Yeah, I mean, you should go get the shield. I Nate. would love that. Uh, Me. Make a date of it. Nathan's yeah. got serious game. Okay. Today, serious. Amy Amy is in trivia. I am your your I think, your host. I think Nate has questions. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back to... Trivia, help me name the game show. I don't know because if you do really well, you're probably going to have to continue doing. No, it no, 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 no. This out. is just the we're just switching it up today, okay? Nate okay. got questions. Nate, I have questions. I want to okay? set a really low bar for everyone. I probably won't do so well. Won, I'm just taking I've your won place. Twice. <laughs> I've won twice out of like 17, 70 episodes. Okay, let's 66. do this. I'm ready. Okay, I'm very right. excited. What's the number? Sixty-six. Okay, Jimmy. One. Thirteen. Seven was my number. So it goes Amy, Jimmy, Zach. Wow, that's what I wrote it down on in my plate. Wow, alphabetical. I, f- I manifested that. Yeah, what number did. did you pick, Amy? Thanks, bud. All right. 13? I didn't. Okay. You picked the same number. I didn't even think about it. Okay. All righty. Amy, you ready? Yeah. All I'm right. Instantly nervous. It's all right. Is there, Just, any, is there any new rules? What's the, is there a theme? There is. Some of them, yeah. I'll, t- can I, I'll tell you the theme, okay? Are there any Cause new Because there's three different themes. It's Amy's rule still, okay. but just now today as so today, Amy gets to decide whether or not. No, like, no, 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 no. Points. I'm in charge, but we're going by Amy's rules. Okay. Right. Okay, Amy. Yeah. Which planet? Oh, the, the theme is space. Space. Jesus. Uh, which planet rotates on its side? Um, since I have no idea, I'm just gonna say Jupiter. That is incorrect. Saturn. That is incorrect. Venus. That is incorrect. Talk on it. Uranus. Yes. <laughs> I was... Ah. So nobody gets that? Right. No, nobody okay. gets it. Okay. Alrighty. Theme still space. Which planet has the most gravity? Jimmy. Ooh. Um, J- J- Jupiter. Correct. Yeah, it's the biggest. That's an easy one. Gosh. I Don't say that was easy. I didn't know that. All right. This is a tough one. Of course it is. Topic is oh, animals. We're out of space. We're gonna go back to space. All right, outer space. How many quills? Excuse me, you've got your phone up. Put, yeah, please put that. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's an infraction. Child care related. Sorry. Mm. Um, how many quills does a porcupine have? They all have the exact same number. Real quick though, mm-hmm. so you chose to switch topics when it came <clears> to me. Yeah, we, they're gonna get some animal ones too. But you chose this one for me. I'm just moving. I'm just moving around the list. Okay, but we just all right. I guess it's Nate's rules. So what can I say? Right. Right. 118. False. Wait. I do. They, they all have the exact same number. Every yeah. Rel- time? Yeah. Relatively. Yeah. Two hundred eighty-five. I mean, nope. Forty-two. False. Who is the closest? N- really, probably Jimmy. Thirty thousand. <laughs> what? Yeah. He said thirty-two. I said. Yeah, I don't know what I... Support. I thought you said 240. 42. Oh, you said 42. Oh, okay, yeah, 30,000. Mm, well. All right, here we go. Amy. Amy. Yeah. The topic is animals. What color is a giraffe's tongue? Black. False. Purple. Correct. I might have to look that up. I, I was th- with you. I think it's black. I think that's wrong. Well, I mean, this is what it says. I don't know. Well, when I do trivia, I sometimes have to double check. That's true. Keep going. That's true. Uh, who's next? Zach? Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy's next again? Okay. Um, he doesn't like that one. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Sure. Topic is animals. Animals. <laughs> How fast can a road runner run? Uh, 52 miles an hour. Incorrect. 38. Incorrect. 77. Incorrect. It's 20. Dang. 
All right, His Zach, you ready? His questions are a lot harder than mine. Yep. Zach, you ready? Yeah. What sure. mammal has the longest lifespan? Oh. Mammal. Yep. Uh. Whale. Correct. But isn't it specifically like a big blue, giant like blue, blue whale? This just says this sperm whale. This just says whale. Hmm. That's why I said it because I didn't want to get caught with the wrong kind. The wrong type of whale. Yeah. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Topic is history. Oh, sh- Jesus. Or, uh, yeah, theme or whatever. Uh, what famous play was was born in 1564? Think classics. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. Ooh, close. Close. Macbeth. Nope. Othello. What? What is that? It's a classic play. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's what was the answer? Well, now I'm not sure because it, it says Shakespeare, William Shakespeare. Oh, is it well, playwright? We, yeah. What, we what all, famous playwright was born? Yeah. What did you I say? You said what famous play was born. Yeah, so we all actually just got a point. No, Amy got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my fault. That's my fault. Well, hey, this what? is my first time. Okay? You it's got my it. first time. You got it. Because you, you would have said Shakespeare. Because you guessed Shakespeare. Yeah. If he would have said If he would have known how to read. I'm sorry. You know what? There's a lot of pressure on the person that has to read the questions. Okay. I don't remember you, like, totally missing a vital word in the question. I know, but that one time I did say horror movies when I meant scary movies. See? See, it happens. But okay. Also, Jimmy, I you ready? owned it immediately. Yeah. Is it Jimmy? Yeah. History. History. What was the first country to use paper money? Uh, the United States. False. Zach. China. Correct. That was a good, good one. Good guess. Staying in there. <laughs> All right, we're switching theme. Oh God. Astrophysics. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. These are these will be easier. Okay. Oh, will they? Because now yeah. I'm gonna feel like an idiot if Sesame I don't get it. Street. Okay. What What are the it, uh, topic is Disney? Oh God. <laughs> this is me, right? This is not. That's no, Amy. it's me. No, he. he no, no, was, yeah, it is. It is Zach. Because he missed America. Yeah, because he missed America. Oh, he yeah, missed yeah, the yeah, money yeah, question. Yeah. 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 Okay, Zach. This is right down our alley, all right? All we've watched all I've watched is Disney movies for the last ten years. Okay. What are the names of Gosh. Cinderella's stepsisters? Shut up. Come on. <sighs> evil stepsisters? Like, evil stepsisters. That's what their names are. You have a I, guess? I've no no. Okay. Alright. You pa- pass to Amy. Griselda and it starts with an R, but I don't actually know. It's something like the, like, Rissa Dutta. Okay, that's incorrect. Okay. Was Griselda one of them? You didn't say. I didn't say. Mm. Thumbelina and Tinkerbell. Okay, that is that is incorrect. It's Drizella ah. and Anastasia. I was close. Anastasia, yeah, you were, you had the noise right. Yeah, isn't Anastasia another okay. Russian? Uh, who's next, Jimmy? Amy. Oh, Amy. Okay. Amethy. Disney is the topic. I hate that. Which Moana character sings the song "Shiny"? I've never seen Moana. Moana. False. Uh, it's the the king crab. Okay, uh, but what's his needs name? Needs to know the name. What's Jim? the name? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Jack the Ripper. <laughs> Zach's just Zach's sweating. I, I don't know. What is it, Zach? Is it Timotoa? That's correct. Timotoa hasn't always been this drab, or was something. I was a drab little crab once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, Jim, Jimothy. Jimothy. Okay. All right. I can't believe I had Timotoa lock, stock, and barrel. D- topic is Disney. What is the princess name in Princess and the Frog? Is the level hard on all of this? Are you like oh, yeah. on hard oh, trivia? Yeah. yeah. See, I have a problem with this question. I'll tell you why. I know the answer, but okay. I want to say Thumbelina. That is incorrect. I Tiana. Know. That is correct. We like that movie. She's I, not a princess, right? But she's called 
Princess and the Frog. Didn't I mean, she marry a prince, though? I guess at the end, she becomes a princess. Spoilers. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry, guys, for everybody. For ruining it. Okay, and all right. She can make a pot of gumbo, though. <laughs> That's in the movie. Okay. Does she use the frog? What was the other thing? What was the... Beignets. That's my favorite part, is uh, she has this friend who... So her mom, like, makes dresses for this, like, little rich girl in town. They're best friends. And later on in the movie, uh, the little rich girl wants to catch the eye of this prince who's coming to town. And she goes, Tiana, can you make me up a batch of your man catching beignets? <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> that is good. The the voodoo Big Daddy. the voodoo stuff's kind of creepy though. It's a little yeah, it evil. Is. Yeah, it is. Um, Briar has to hold my eyes when we watch that. Part. Yeah, I bet so. Okay, Zach. He's skilled. Topic is animals. Okay. I can't help but notice how you're really. It's just the rotation, man. It's all right. You're all the right. best at trivia. Go this ahead, is no big bud. deal for go you. Ahead, bud. Um, good shooters keep shooting. Can our 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 baby rabbits when they're born? Uh huh. Are they totally blind or can they see? It's a 50 50 Wait, shot. yeah, so if he gets 50 50. So. <laughs> they're. I'm going to say they can see. False. I'm going to say they're blind. <laughs> Do I get the point? Technically, yes. So but they're. See, you, 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 that's why I don't ever do those types of questions all right should we not do that one probably because no, then the next the person point. give okay. her the point okay it's not her fault you screwed up all right i'm sorry i'm sorry okay amy well, you sorry, ready? I just assume most babies are born blind yeah i would think so too that's but why then, i didn't know why you asked that yeah but they're not though wait why would we assume that most babies are born not blind, blind but they like their eye function isn't like well, even are. even human babies like, i'm pretty sure you have to be this close for them to almost see you okay amy uh, topic is animals where does the most venomous spider live? In the Amazon. False. Australia. Correct. Yes. I knew it was Australia. It's like they have like Everything's the top, killing they have you. like the top nine most venomous everything, I feel like. They dropped a bunch and they're of also prisoners really off big. there and everything's poisonous. That yeah, they have I think they have the most like concentrated uh, juice. <laughs> yeah. Oh I'm out of uh, animal questions. Oh darn. Darn it. Darn it. Hope you're out of tr- history, or history questions, too. Okay, Sorry, all right. Just, we're back to space, Jimmy. Just direct me questions. Back to space. We're back to space, okay? Um, how, many, how many miles up is the International Space Station? How many miles? Yeah, how many miles up into, this, into, the, into the stratosphere? Can we get a point for the closest? Yes. Can we do on this one? Yes. Are you guys down for that? I don't care. Okay. Um, I want to say 20. Okay. False. You're saying 20 miles? 20 miles. Okay. Jimmy, you fly, dude. You're up tw- over 20 miles. No. No, not at all. Okay. Sorry. I don't know. You're really going with 20? I he mean, already I, answered. I can't, I can't change he my already answer answered now. now. He already answered. That would be an unfair advantage. I think it's like 17,000 miles. Okay. 1343. Amy, Amy's closest. It was. It's two hundred and fifty. Wait, oh. she said thirteen forty-three. She's still the closest. Oh wait, I said twenty. Oh crap! Yeah, oh Jim, crap, Jimmy. Win. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I get the point. Oh my god, Zach, you should you see. This is this is why this is why we have to stick to to Amy's rules. Okay, Amy, how many questions do you usually do? About twenty-one. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of questions. <laughs> it's a lot. That's a. That's hey, wait a minute. Hey, throw me that thing right there. Which thing? This? Yeah. Is that what it is? It's what it, it's what it is. Okay. I'm All right. Drink, uh, who's next? Me. Um, Zach. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Because I... No, no, no. Because you got the question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It so is, it's my yeah, turn. You're right. You're right. Okay. No. okay, Zach, we're still in space. How many phases does the moon have? <laughs> everybody knows that. <laughs> Did everybody know that? We learned that in grade school. I, I would have had no idea. It would have been a guess. Well, it's definitely, it's definitely eight phases. That's correct. That's what I was thinking. Well, it's because everybody knows it, except Jimmy, obviously. Nope. I didn't know it. I knew, I, you know. Amy, you ready? Amy. Mm-hmm. Welcome, to out, wait, welcome to outer space. I didn't know the eight phases. I was like, How many Earths could fit inside of the sun? A buttload, I'm pretty sure. 
Are we doing closest? Or are we do Let's do closest. Earth? Let's do closest again. How many Earths can fit in yeah. the sun? Yep. Uh, 100. Okay. False. 30,000. Incorrect. 30,001. Uh, it will be Zach then wins. It is 1.3 million. That is so many. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. You know, have you ever seen those? They'll, they'll do videos of the biggest stars we can see, and they'll line up like the smallest planet, and the next, the next, the next, and then the sun is just like, it makes the makes Jupiter look like a marble, mm-hmm. and there are stars that make the sun look like a marble, like our sun. It's like hard to fathom. That's insane. Like they, they did a, a video like to fly around the earth would take X amount of days. To fly around the sun would take like 100,000 years. And then there are celestial bodies like uh, just unfathomable. Just can't be. That, it's 1.3 million earths fit in. That's insane to Can me. Can you imagine the tax re- revenue? Yeah, it's crazy. 1.3 million earths. Crazy. Who's next? That's Jimbo. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give this one to you, Jimmy. Trunk hit hard like Kimbo. I want slice. you both to have a shot at it just in case because Amy might know it right off the bat. Okay. Wait, what did you say? What's that? You're giving it to him because why? I'm gi- well, I'm giving it to, to you guys first because I th- Amy might know it right off so the bat. So the, these questions aren't in a particular order? No. No, they're tailored. So this oh, okay. is all contested. Okay. Well, this one is. This one is because Amy might know it really easily. Oh, we so? wouldn't want to give it to okay. her. Okay, all right. Here we it's go. It's not my turn anyways. Here we go. Okay. What is the largest internal organ in the body? Internal organ. Internal organ in the body. His <laughs> face. You don't know it, do you? I want to say. Oh, the, I think she does. The liver? What the heck? How did you get that? It's obviously the liver. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say if it was external, it would be the skin. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That's insane. I know that, and I still don't think about the skin being an organ. It's weird. Well, that's why I had to clarify, like, internal. And then I, I thought of, like, the anatomy chart. Did wow. You really? I thought that yeah. was going to be tougher than that. Thanks okay. for walking us through that thought process. Yeah. Um, Zach, you ready? Uh, what uh, temperature What temperature does water boil at? Oh, wow. You guys want to do closest again or exact? You feel like that's... Uh, I, sure, sure. Closest? Yeah. 212 degrees. That's correct. Can I just ask a quick question? Yeah, what's Did up? Did anybody watch the Snapchat that I sent them last night? I tried. I, I had to download Snapchat to do it, it, and then it wasn't there. Okay, well, I thought it was a scam until now. I forgot that that no, happened. No, I, I sent you guys a video, and it was me coming up to Jimmy with a dual screen, and I asked Jimmy, and I said, what does Master P make him say? And, uh, and Jimmy's like, nah, nah, I, don't, nah. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> and, I, and then I'm like, this is what I've been dealing with. That's a good, you should <laughs> that's, post that. That's a great, that's it's good. It's a TikTok. Well, that'd be a good one. I don't think I was sent say, that. Uh, na 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 na. <laughs> who was oh. Master P's uh, brother? Do you know that? No, who is it? Silk the Shaka. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Silk the Shaka. I don't know if you say the hard R on that one. Alrighty, um, Amy. Remind me about hard R no, later. It, it, I think it's, it's, it's Zach. Zach. No, it's, it's Amy's because he just got the boiling. Oh okay. Um, Amy, uh, how many elements are in the periodic table? 118. Yeah. That's so good. Nice job, Amy. Good Dang. for you. Wow. I knew that. Well, Very I had nice. to take some, some classes to be a nurse. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. Okay. Um, J- Jimmy, how many breaths does the average human take in a day? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say 200,000. Incorrect. Are you going closest? Yeah, let's go closest. That's fine. Can I pull out my calculator? No. Nope. I, you got to do it in your head. I can't. <laughs> I'm going to say 4,000. Incorrect. I mean, I know what like what average is, and, and I don't have a pen and paper, so it's like very hard for me. What was the two answers that you guys already say? Don't remember. 200,000, 200, okay. 4,000. I'm going to say 30,000, but I don't know. Like I don't. I think Amy's got it. It's 20,000. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she gets that. I could have just done the math. Nice job, Amy. Based off 20, what? 20,000 in a day? Yeah. It says the average human, so I don't know what they're going by on that, but... Going below average. I'm not breathing enough. I mean, I can watch you for a minute, and we can figure it out. Uh, who's next? Who's got the time? Uh, me. Yeah. Okay, Zach. What is the chemical symbol for table salt? Uh, I know this one. 
if he misses it, you got a shot at it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. What can I remember this? Hmm. This is going to piss me off. Yeah. Gosh, dog. Just, you're all right. You're all right. Just. Thank you. Take a second. All right. You got it. I'd like to take this moment to talk about our sponsor. Lay's Potato Chips. Summer Edition. Summer Edition. Cuban Sandwich. Which I feel like is just a sandwich, but we don't need to talk about that right now. It's the taste of Miami. Welcome to Miami. I All right, been, Zach, here I we go. I haven't been thinking that whole time. Okay, come on. I'm, I'm out. I don't know. I have okay. a question. And it, it, so I want to say sodium is N-A, but like if you're yeah. saying table salt. Table salt. So. Um, I think I know it. N-A. Uh, C. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do it. I, you know it. Go with what's on the tip of your tongue. I believe in well, you. Well, I want to say CL, but I'm feeling like that's not it. What's your uh, What's your final answer? That can be my final answer. That is correct. Dang it! I knew it. I watched an episode of Jimmy Neutron one time, and I they talked about it. that. <laughs> you did? Yeah. I was pumped. Okay, mm-hmm. Jamie, you ready? No, it's Amy's turn. I mean, Amy, you ready? No, I'm not ready. Where was Martin Luther King Jr. born? I want to say Georgia. Whew. That's that's half of it. Oh, I have to say the, 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 town. the town? That's what it has down on here. That's up to you guys if you I want to go just stay. I think it's famous. Uh, so I think it merged from there to somewhere. If you guys want to go just with state, that, that can count. But It could be a two. two How about fair? this? How about this? If Jimmy and I don't get it, Amy gets it. Okay. You want to add on to it? Um... I, I don't know a lot of places in Georgia other than the place that my ex used to live, so I'm going to say a made-up, and I'm going to say Athens, Georgia. That is that is halfway incorrect. I know another one, but I don't... I know mm. he's not from there, so that's mm-hmm. why I didn't say... Okay, okay. Huh. I don't Come know. Come on now. I don't know. Okay. Is this Selma? Nope. Don't go on it. So a- if you a- say Augusta, I'm going to be mad. It's Atlanta. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I've heard of that. <laughs> I've heard of that place. He's <laughs> basically like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I've only been, like, I've been to Atlanta, but I've spent a lot of time in Augusta. That's so why we, are I, we giving Amy's point. Amy it's point? Okay. Jimmy's turn. All right. We're switching it up. New New category. Kids book trivia. No. What kind of garbage is this? Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Jimmy's turn. Okay. Jimmy, what is Matilda's favorite <laughs> book in the library? Have you ever read Matilda? The Bible. Incorrect. <sighs> is that... There's a movie, Matilda. Mm-hmm. Is it the same... Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Uh, I don't like this question. <laughs> Moby, Amy, Moby Dick. That's incorrect. I don't know I, what it why is. Did make but that I'm, I'm going to say incorrect. Charlotte's Web because I don't actually know. That's incorrect. The Secret Garden. Oh. Secret love. Okay, Amy, ready? No, it's my turn. Oh, sorry, 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 Zach. In the story, same same topic. In the story of the princess and the pea, how many mattresses does the princess sleep on? Nineteen. That's incorrect. I have never read this. Really? I guess, guess something close. 18. That's incorrect. Sorry. 20. That is correct. Son of a butt. <laughs> okay. Amy. Uh, Amy. I thought Amy. that who, was mine. Oh. Who, who is the youngest sibling in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Ooh. Come on, this is so famous. I no, it's uh, it's a there, it's a huge movie too. There's a movie trilogy. Uh, is Thomas. it is it a Disney movie trilogy? Probably. Uh, because you guys yeah. know that it's I don't watch Disney. Probably movies. I don't know if it's Disney. Yeah, it's got to be Disney, right? I have no, I, don't I, know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. Carl Edwards. 
Carl Winslow. Jimmy? Edward Scissorhands. Celine Dion. Saskatchewan Joe. Yeah, it's the it's the Shoeless young brother. Jo- Shoeless Joe Jackson. It's the youngest brother. It's a sister. It's a it's a girl. Oh, um, I would know. Can I phone a daughter? It's a, it's not <laughs> it's not Narnia because that's the that's the whole thing. Okay, all right. Name, well, you're right. You might, her name um, isn't Narnia. Her name is not Narnia. Narnia Stevens. It's a beautiful name. Agatha. None, you already is, gave a that guess. That is incorrect. You don't get to give eight that's more. Incorrect. Don't know Lily. Ooh. I don't know. It's Lucy. Okay. Lucy. Okay. Lucy Breakers. Who's uh, who's next? Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail are the siblings of which classic character? Dude, Can you say that again? This is like this is like my favorite childhood book. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail are the siblings of which classic character? Peter Rabbit. That is correct. <sighs> I'm so bummed. Oh man, dude, know, this is I a close game. This is close. You're How close. many questions are Can we have? Can we right do now? like? Like movie or TV trivia because I might have a fighting chance. You have a fighting chance right now. Not if we keep this line of questioning going. Amy, I love you. This is week one for you. Don't do this to me. <laughs> We've been dealing with this crap for friggin' four months. Okay, Zach is next. Mm-hmm. Zach, is okay. Next. All right, all right. We'll do some easier ones. All right. No, give me the give me the heat. Yeah, no, make it hard because then I don't sound as stupid when the, I don't know it. Give okay, me, give me the heat. All right. What does Corduroy the Bear go on a search for? Well, it depends if you're asking, like, allegorically. Okay. You know, like, what the author, you know what I mean? Like, under the first layer. 100%. I think it's a, I think he search, it's it's a story of self-discovery, really. (laughs) Uh, I think, you know what, that's not incorrect, but it is also incorrect. He's trying to find himself. Right. That's a good answer. He's trying to understand where he fits in the world. 100%. Really. 100%. It's just a coming-of-age tale, yeah. if you will. Right. But the more accurate... <laughs> I love know, it more, <laughs> when you do this. The more, just give me an answer, dang the more, it. The more page What's 20 your answer, answer here um, is his owner. That is incorrect. <laughs> I'm going to say two things just so I get it wrong. A button or a heart. Which, which one is it? Should she get it? Which one do you go with? I feel like it's a heart, but like there's part of me that in my head it's a button that. Just so. go with your gut, Amy Lou. Go with your heart. Go with your gut. Feel, feel. What's your heart tell you? What's your? I'm not going to answer because then if I get it wrong, then Jimmy can guess. So. No, but. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have done that. Okay. Don't get it wrong then. I don't know. I have no you idea. Have to pick. I'm going to say a heart. I don't know. It's incorrect. It's a button. She can have it. No, she can't. Okay, then it's a button. But see, does he get it? Because I gave him the answer. So th- this is Amy. There, this is, what, what would we do in the scenario for Amy's rules? Well, I, don't know. I I have once said something in trivia about like Home Alone that was later a question, and someone got it right then. Okay, so Jimmy should get it. I, th- I it I pains so. me. It pains me to say it's okay, Jim. You're you're sleeping on the floor tonight. Yeah, you idiot. I tried to give it to you. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's true, true. That's true. Is it Amy now? Uh, yeah. Okay, Amy, here we go. This is technically also movie, okay, and book. <laughs> what doctor can talk to animals? I, I Yo! Is it doctor, like, I don't know. Is it Dr. Seuss? Through, like, I don't, you go through. I don't know. I don't read. It's you, okay. It's a movie. It's famous movies. There's like five of them. You guys, ha- you guys don't know my childhood. You're, you're going to hear this and be bummed. I'll put it that way. Probably not. Well, I think you know the name, though, Amy. I really think, think about it. I think you do. The, well, just, let me put it this way, just to add. This is like the whole plot of the movie. It's not like just a side point. Oh, he can talk to animals. It's like the movie is about him talking to animals. So how bummed are you going to be if I'm... If after I hear this, I'm like, I've never watched that movie. Not bummed. No, not bummed. Like, like, bummed. It's just the way it goes. It, 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 it had Eddie Murphy with in me. it. That happens with me there with stuff all the with, time. Uh, I have no idea. With uh, Iron Man. Yeah, Tony Stark. Tony, what's his name? Uh, Robert That's a different, it's different trivia. Good trivia. You yeah. didn't get points for that. So I'm not going to answer because Jimmy just essentially told me. So, like, you can go. Do you know it? No, because I didn't know it. He said it. Do you know the answer now? Yes, but he can answer. I'm passing. I was trying to give you a hint. I, I know, and you don't have to do See, that. See, I knew you knew it, though, right? No, I, I've never watched the movie, and I didn't know it. What? Did he say he, the name? He he said who the actor was in it, and so I. And so now I, you know. And so I knew, but not because I've ever seen the movie or knew anything about that. I knew you knew it though. 
No, I didn't. He said How did you know it then? Does Jimmy just answer? Dr. Doolittle. See, now I feel like... he, He goes, Eddie Murphy. It's Eddie Murphy. And then yeah. I was like, okay, so I just deduced what movies he's been in. But I've never seen it. Okay, so... Nor did I know that that's what he could do. Jimmy Stern. Uh, Jimmy, what... This is a tough one. I'm sorry, but I'm running out of questions. Oh, so how, how many? How many am I supposed to do? Twenty one. Oh, nuts! I feel like we've done eighty five. I like it. I don't know that our people like it. Okay, we're 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 uh, there are some that people have there are some that people have missed, but um. So you have to remember wherever you started. So was that my last one? Because it has to be even. If we call that, so I'm at. Okay, so there's 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There was 21 right there with okay. ending with Amy. Okay. Do so, we want to keep So we going? need to, <clears throat> we need to, we do need to at more. least do two more to make it fair. Okay. All right. Um, this is a tough one, so I'm sorry. Uh, what does Strega... I've never read this either. What does Strega non- Nona tell Anthony not to touch? What does the fox say? It's PP. <laughs> Great answer. Great answer for a children's book. The... Zachathy. What, could you reread the question? <laughs> what does Strega Nona tell Anthony not to touch? Lady Rosen. That is incorrect. Her pot of pasta. Well, it was... <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst. Oh, I, I thought you already went. Guess. I'm sorry. Did you know? No, but I was going to give hey, a guess. Hey, what was your guess going to be? You to say yes, I knew. What was your answer going to be? I, I hadn't gotten that far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I answer. totally ruined that. I'm she sorry. I was going to say spaghetti. My turn. Um, which, okay. Which title character has had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day? This is a pretty famous one. <laughs> uh... Judy Bloom. Correct. I don't know. I thought you said correct. Incorrect. Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, Ramona Beasley. No. Nope. Good name. Is that really a person? I, I mean, I think it's from a childhood book I read. Oh. Can you say the, uh, no. the, the phrase no, I don't again? think so, because you already won. Which title character has had a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day? Um... Captain Underpants. And that is incorrect. What is it? It's Alexander. Oh. Alexander had a terrible no, no good day. Oh, huh. I think Amy should get a bonus question because you robbed her of a chance. No, I, no, it's fine. So, but if we do one more, we got to go all the way through again, right? No, because you robbed her of the chance to get an extra point. Can I make up one for Amy? Just I got it. I've got one. I've got oh, one. Right. Amy, you ready? Oh, yeah. Where does Winnie the Pooh live? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was going to be a softball. I'm sorry. No, I'm like, sorry. I don't know. I have no idea. It should, it's not going to go around, is it? It was just no, for her, No, it can her, go right? around to them. No, it was just for you because they've I already... I don't know. It's the 100 Acre Wood. You Deep guys, ha- in you guys have to remember, I don't, I don't have children. That's true. And I'm 40 years old, and half of these things I was super not interested. When I was a kid, I played outside, and that's all I did. That's all I did. So. He has science questions. And space and That's history. Why you the the hardest science questions. It was this was it was good, Amy. You got more questions than I usually do. You've got so Amy had six, Zach had seven, and Jimmy had eight. Very close game. Very close game. You and I, we beat him. Jimmy, you're still on the floor tonight, so I don't know. Yeah, because what what happened with Jimmy with that tick that ticked her that t- you ticked her off? I oh, gave he, her a he hint. gave me the hint. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, he did. The one that ticked you off was you said the button or the heart. And then he would get the opposite one. And he was like, give her the point. I don't think I was mad until the do little no. thing. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I was mad about that one to too, Jimmy. Out. I'm going to pause it. Question. Okay. Is this relationship advice? Kind of. Okay. You know, just input, wanting our input, I guess. Which is kind of cool. I thought it was. I yeah. thought it would be a fun segment. Yeah. We don't have to take it seriously. Brain I mean, trust. Yeah. Don't give me any more details about the person because I want to be able to be ruthless if I need to be. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I, I don't want to lie to these people. For sure. I don't think we should. So this is kind of interesting. All right. So the person who messaged me, okay, it's a female. She lives around here. 
she's been here for quite a while. She went to college here and then she's like hung around, got a job, right? She's got her own place. She's in a long time relationship, long distance with her boyfriend that is in, I think, just another state. So they were all doing whatever. She, and so like when he finished school, the plan was for him to move here, right? So he moves here and then it was like, sweet, we'll be together, right? So they're here now together. And she now has gotten a job offer in a different state, but he just got a job here. So the job is like crazy money, way better money than she's making now. So he encouraged her to take it and she's going to take it. And so now that she's moving, he's saying he doesn't know if he can do long distance. And she was like, okay, but I just did long distance like all this time and like everything was fine. And so then now that I'm going to take this job that she says that he was like into, you know, she was like, I'm making way better money so you can just come with me and then find another job there. I don't know what his career is or what his job is, but that's the situation. And she wants to hear our input. Has she ever heard about my story? I don't know. That might be some good insight. I feel like knowing all the things that I know and doing the long distance thing and everything I've been through, I would say if you have any inkling that this person isn't every single thing you've ever wanted and like needed in your life, I would say take this as a blessing in disguise and walk away from the relationship and do the job and meet somebody new that's going to put you up on a pedestal Yeah. in your new city. Yeah. Um, Because I've done the... I like I did the long distance thing mm-hmm. for years mm-hmm. and I um I w- somebody left me. Yeah. Like walked in the front door and was like I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't yeah. love you anymore. Yeah. And at the time I was shattered and I would have done anything to make it work. Mm-hmm. Like quitting my great job here, moving multiple states away, anything to make it work. Right. And looking back now I'm like oh my God, it was such a blessing in disguise. Right, right. I was so heartbroken and so upset, but now I'm in a completely different spot. Yeah. So. Without any info, any more info, uh, I agree. Take it, go. I think that's a tough, that's a tough thing. It's easy for us to say, but I think if there's doubt at all, like that's like, what, what are you expecting to happen? Like the, what's going to alleviate that doubt like if there's issues now well the other thing is is how long have they been together long time i think like eight years i think that becomes tricky also because there's this thing out there called i think it's called like the time fallacy yeah and it's like well i've I've, i put in all this time and i don't want that to be for nothing but you forget that like the rest of your life is way longer but mine was seven years yeah and look at what i have now well i'm just saying like you know i'm saying like Time, 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 the, like the the time becomes a reason to stay. Yeah, and I'm saying I don't know that that's true. Yeah, for for every mm-hmm. posi- it's at least not the only reason. You right. know what I mean? Right. It's also though just the sheer fact that he has shown a little bit of himself yep. by saying, yep. "I don't know that I'm going to come." That's huge. That yeah. is that yeah. is actually very major. Again, and again, with what we have to go on, yeah, there right. may be a good reason, but yeah. at face value, we're like, just like I don't know. Well, for example, he could if have his, family if, with failing health. Yes, or something. if his parents are here and he doesn't think he has right. many more years with them, absolutely. Like he's just right. trying to figure it out. Yeah. Um, but, but it sounds like he's not even willing to try, though, and that's I think like the show of his commitment of like he's not that committed. Yeah. To making it work because I think yeah they I did also, it before. I so also they, wonder if it's like I'm sorry, I just cut you off. Go ahead. It's just like they had a track record of doing long distance, but now he's all of like, I don't want to do this again. So, well, I also want to know. I agree with that wholeheartedly, but I want to know again context going off what I see here. But was it like I can't do this again, or was it like, man, I just don't know if we can do this? like? Yeah. So what know, it, if, what what it was was he was like, I is what he listen to this podcast by chance? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But <laughs> what he should. Yeah, I should. Um, I don't. Free advice. (laughs) So I don't know. I'd have to go back, and I'd have to go back and check. But what it seemed like was that it was like, dude, like I like long distance sucked. It does suck, and And it's hard. And if you have any doubts, it was like long distance. It was like long distance sucked, and he was. I think he was in school. 
but it was like I also would say like being able to end it amicably because like we don't want to do this is a way better scenario than a year down the road yeah and, finding but, bad news yeah out. and my whole thing my whole thing is is like if they were engaged or they were married my, probably my answer would be different but like they're only dating you know right. like they're just girlfriend and boyfriend so it's like so I have two things to say. My friend Jeff would say after a certain amount of time, if they haven't already proposed or it hasn't already happened, right. it's not going to happen. Well, There's that, a reason why. Yeah. So he, um, so he, I think part of the reason I, the reason I think that she didn't really d- divulge on that, but it seemed like that, like they have, they had, they had plans to get married and they were waiting till that they were out and, of school. And also you don't have to get married. Like that's the yeah. other thing. Like everybody is like, not everybody, but a lot of people view marriage as like, this is the final step. You must do it. And you don't have to, like right. if you're happy with what you're doing, that's great. I do think relationship take like to be successful. Long term is fine. Right. I've done lo- the, our long distance thing is fine. I've done that. But like there becomes a point where you have to be willing to actually be with each other right. and, and make that aspect work. And yeah. and if if they're going to be doing another long distance thing, I, I would be more inclined to say, I'd like you to move with me. And if you're, you know, like yeah. I would don't know that I would if I were yeah. her, I'd be like, I want to do I another wonder, long distance. This is I'd be all, like, come how, with this me. This is just all speculation. But I kind of wonder. If he was like, wait, you know, like this was the plan. Like I was going to finish. You were going to work here. Like we were going to stay here and be together or mm-hmm. whatever. I don't know if he has family here or anything, but like speculation was like, he'd be like, oh no, I'm into it. Like you should take it. And then he was like, just being supportive. But then when she actually did that, then he was like, holy crap, she actually did do it. You well, know, like if there's like some sort of games okay. going on, cause I've heard that happening too. I'll take kind of devil's advocate here. I'm, I'm on this guy's side for a second. Maybe it's a matter of, yeah, she she, they did it while he was in the school. But, like, I am the type of guy that if I know where the end is, I'm way better at getting there than if it's just arbitrary. So, it's like, right. I know I've just got to make it through this many years and then we'll be together. Right. Versus now she's got this new job. There's no obvious time. But, right. But the you know other bottom line is, is that what does she want? Like, does she really want to be doing another long distance relationship? Does yeah. she want to be sleeping next to this person every single day and have all the things that she has? Like, I mean, if you want, if that's like part of your, your, your goal is not living in the same state as somebody you, yeah, it's you tough really too because about. it seems like it, it's kind of tough too. Cause it seems like, you know, she was like, I'm going to be making like way better money. And, like, he wouldn't have to work while he finds something new. I think he's only been at his job for, like, six months or something. Yeah. And so she was like, I've been at mine for years and years. I think the hard part is hindsight's twenty twenty, right? Like, yeah. it's all going to be obvious. So if I look at this objectively, I'm like, this relationship could, it's like, could or could not work. It's just, we don't know. I also. Right? Even if they stay. But if you take the job, you have the job. If right. you take the job, you have the job. And you also have the potential for something new and exciting and, like, Right. You might meet someone even better. Well, and the sad reality is you might not. You might not. You but, might not. But, but, but you're you taking least, a chance on yourself. But I guess for me is like if the two negatives are like this implodes because she takes the new job and they try the long distance thing and that sucks for everybody. Or they break up. She takes the new job. If she doesn't meet anybody or not right away, that's still better than a nasty breakup. Well, right. or what happens if, um, because it's human nature to want what you can't have, she says, you know what, you've already encouraged me to go. I, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to take this job because this is like yeah. something I've always wanted. And she does this. And then he, after so long, he's sitting here and he was like, oh, my gosh, I just let the best thing in my life walk away from me. Yeah. And, and if he's meant to be with her. He will reach back out. Well, the question and they is, will figure that out at that point. The question is, do they at that point? Right, at you know, that point. Well, I'm saying but like, I'm, that's a whole other topic. Like, if you weren't willing to do this in the first place, like, there was doubt in your mind. And the, the other thing is, Some too, people are also selfish. Yeah, most of us. I would say, too, what's hard is, like, the other option is not taking the job. And then you could be a year down the road and it's still break up. Or right. you could be married forever but still have resentment because you didn't get to X, Y, and Z. So... I don't know, man. That's so hard. Don't take my advice, but I, I would just Is the take city a really big, like, cool city? Or, like, where, where's... where's mm, I, I actually where's don't know where it is. Do you I know how far it is away? Yeah, it's far. I think she said, like... Plane ride. Multi- yeah, like, plane, plane. Well, so, I, I guess, like, from from that standpoint, is, like, he could have been showing support and, like, not being truthful with her of, like, yeah, take this job and right. I think you should do it. 
but in his, the back of his mind he was like i don't want her to do that because i don't yeah. want to do long distance again so right. it could just come down to like communication as he just didn't communicate yeah. that well of like well it sounds like that's what it was I mean, yeah it or, does. or he was planning on her like she called his bluff you know he yeah. was like oh do what you want and he's like she'll pick me yeah, yeah. and now he might be checked out and just be like, yeah yeah maybe then once she did then he realized like oh like she was gonna pick the job over me even though he kind of didn't you know communicate yeah. it yeah i would say it's tough it's real tough i would say just go with what you know we don't know if the relationship will last if you stay or if you go we know the job's there but we don't know Give if the job it. will last well why wouldn't it I, she might, I mean she might get fired yeah. i mean something may happen you know yeah but a business I, i'm just saying like half of marriages end mm-hmm. in divorce i don't know how many relationships in general you know, i'm saying the numbers wise versus like even if the job ends she has a resume line right you so know here's I mean? the other thing when you do long distance it is very easy to get complacent in like what is happening because you're not seeing that person every single day right and like the all the different things that go into having a healthy good relationship and strong bond mm-hmm. are not there so like it would be completely different if they had spent one year living together like here and then that that came up and they had known what it's like to be really solidly with each other yep. like we don't know that time frame like yeah. if if he moved back and it's been like two or three months and she's like i i need to make the decision i need to go in a month that's not enough time I, to know like i also think it's wild that he wouldn't have to work while he was looking for like why wouldn't you go that's the problem for me that's the red flag yeah is it's like if it was just the unknown of it and again we don't know we don't know his reasons for wanting to stay but why wouldn't you go i mean maybe it's one of those things where columbia missouri i'm assuming they live around here columbia missouri is too big for him so to move to new york feels like you know the worst thing you can maybe right but if if i if i'm in that position and my lady's gonna be making bread yeah I'm also kind of a team player where I'm like, yo, we're set up here. Right. Is like, this, let's take the bread. I'll go find something. Yeah. Is this person somebody who is really um, strong, like, independently? Like, w- can they... Yeah, like, like how much they squat? Huh? Pretty good. Strong? Pretty decent. Pretty yeah. good squatter? Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, like, <laughs> I if you put me, goes, <laughs> me into, like, uh, like moving to, in like, a, a city... And, like, I'm having to hail cabs and doing all of that. High anxiety Amy isn't going to do yeah. as well. And I'm going to freak out, and it's going to be a bigger problem. But if I knew that I had, like, friends or family or somebody that I knew that lived there to support me, yep. I'd be more successful. Because the last thing you I want also is that this... I, yeah. The last thing you want, though, is this her to take this position and leave. And if she's not somebody who's, like, super good at being independent yeah. and, like... I don't mind sitting at a table by myself or because if she moves to a whole new city and it's right. a big city by right. herself right. with no friends, no family, right. do you that's going to be very hard the first few months. Do you want to hear the conversation between Jimmy and Amy when she got the job offer? Yeah. What? All right. You, you be Jimmy. I'll be Amy. Okay. And I'm, I'm knocking the door. I'm walking in the door. So you agree. Okay. Me. All right. Hey, what's up, babe? Hey, quit your job. Hey, babe. What? What? Quit your job. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? Shut I up. Made, pack your bag. I made chicken. Shut up, I made chicken bag. tendies. What do you mean? You're getting fat. Don't eat those. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about my? Uh, I was gonna. I was gonna fly today. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Did Mama stutter? I already quit. I quit. I've. I lost my job six months ago. I've okay. been hiding it from you. All right. Put your undies in a bag. <laughs> okay. Uh, the clean one. All I have is a Walmart ones. sack. Just leave them. We'll buy new when we get there. Okay. You'll buy me new undies. <laughs> Shut up. Just pack the bags. Okay. I'm coming. I'll go wh- wherever you want me to go. I'll follow you to hell I'll itself. Fo- I'll follow you. I, we're, <laughs> I'm your ride or die. That would be that would be something like the conversation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Does that and, seem and, and accurate? That's why you guys. Yeah. And that's why you guys work. <laughs> that's Jimmy, why you guys work. Jimmy was like, "That's actually really accurate." <laughs> I mean, if if she came home and she was just like, "I got a new job. we we have to move to St. Louis," like that could be something because like she has family there I'd be like all right let's go like yeah. i would be like you should take the job we'll like we'll go buy something right now yeah but what about if it's like uh we're yeah. talking about moving to wisconsin or yeah. we're talking about moving I would, to I would, like new hampshire i would question why you wanted to move that far north but i'd still go with you <laughs> oh it's just because of the location yeah, yeah i mean you're, it, like, you're gonna be so you, cold you, exactly <laughs> like you also be. you also chose a location where you could transfer at your job so that's like yeah not yeah. a great one yeah you're like if she wanted to move to where i could also work and have my own and da, 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 that's a well, different no, situation like, I, I just like i think 
us moving to St. Louis would be more realistic than us moving like to South Carolina. Right. Just because like she has family there, and I think yeah. But well, let's but be real, the... Jim. You would move anywhere with me. Yeah, absolutely. But in yeah, the scenario, if you to go to New Mexico. Let's do it. Ugh. California. I would never. It would. It would be rough, but I, I think we could do it. I think that's the real question. Is like, where wouldn't you go? Like, because there's a few of those places for me. California would be rough for me. Yeah. I feel like I just don't fit in there. I yeah. think there's certain parts that I like. I couldn't yeah, do L.A. Right. But like, Ooh. I Northern uh, California. Yeah, um, in the mountains. Would be too bad. I wouldn't mind, like, even Southern California where it's, like, San Diego-ish. Yeah. I was thinking about the other day of, like, been. where could I go to live that we wouldn't have allergies? And it sounds like Colorado. <laughs> the moon? Would, would be, yeah. Yeah. Colorado is sick because, like, in July it's, like, I didn't, 50 by night, 40 yeah. by night, and then, like, 75 by day. I love that. In, like, July. Yeah. It's awesome. Address, address okay, so only. do we feel like we've adequately answered the question? I think so. To support I think we've got a lot of listener. I think we've got a lot of advice. I mean, we can't decide for I mean, him, right? I mean, she can always like, message me advice. on the side, or I'll give her my cell phone number, and I'll just chat with her about yeah. my struggles. Yeah. So. I'll tell yeah, her. Don't, uh, don't contact me. I have nothing to offer you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Congrats on the job offer. Yeah. That's Let us awesome. know what it is so we can... Nah, don't do that. Yeah. What? I mean, it's... Anonymity. Nice. Okay. Yeah, she was fine with, she was fine with like... The scenario. She, yeah, she didn't want any details. Okay. No okay. Yeah. Yeah. She don't want those deets in the streets. She don't want those deets in well, the streets. I think it would just be interesting to know, like... That's what we're going to call this. That's what we're going to call this segment. That's what we should call this segment. Deets no in deets the in the streets. Yeah. Well, mm. so... Well, well. <laughs> the reason I ask is because, like, if it's also a job that's, like... When we talk about like job stability and stuff, if it's a job in sales, like why are you why are you moving for a sales job? Yeah, there's certain things, right? But if, if it's like a specialized thing, like because it's know, her career, I, I know, but I mean, but she, it's also a like a big step up. It, okay, but again, you pay, can't you like, can't ask these like. There's a million questions we can ask. We have to go with what we what I know. We see, we're going with what we know. She could be selling water beds. We don't know. <laughs> It's a and, high-end market uh, there. Yeah, and yeah, we're water like, beds we probably are, don't do that, but yeah. we don't know, so we're just assuming. It's papers, paper sales. She's, <laughs> a, she's a doctor. Okay. Just assuming that. She's like, I'm a neurosurgeon. Yeah. Yeah, you can I feel like you could work anywhere, though, right? Mexico. Yeah. I think so. Oh. All right, well, this has been a long podcast, but it's been good, and I think um, I think we should end it. Okay. What do you mean? I mean, totally. You, you <laughs> the podcast? Or? Yeah, the podcast. Okay. And, yes, yeah. You guys just got anything else you want to add? Yeah, okay. just this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to add, Amy? So. Amy I Lynn? I don't think so. Okay, that's not my middle name, but okay. Zachathy. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. This has been Guides from the Gym with your peeps. I'm Nate. Peeps in the streets. You've got Zach across from me, and we've got the the Clickner twins to my right, <laughs> Jimmy and Jimmy and Amy Lou. Amy. Tell him bye. Goodbye. Bye. Uh-huh.